What's up, puppies? We're just out riding the high voltage BBS HD on the the Vesk controller. I've got my I've got my script running. My Vesk script and it's spinning the chain ring. See down there? It's keeping the drivetrain engaged by spinning the chain ring for me. Even when I'm not hitting the throttle. I've also got kind of like a, a smooth start. I've been working on a smooth start script so that if there's any slack in the drivetrain and you start hitting the throttle with the BBS HD, it kind of gently starts it up. So we've got the script going on, oh, and then I've got my chain tensioner. The do-it-yourself chain tensioner that I built. We're testing that out. I fixed the noisiness of it yesterday, so it's not as noisy anymore. So, and I've got the prerequisite tools to uh, fix it if it starts coming loose. So that's cool. Something smells funny right here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. So we're testing a number of things today. Kind of taking it easy. Taking it easy, testing a number of things. Especially this chain tensioner. <laughs> I wanna make sure that thing doesn't rattle apart. It's working pretty good so far. So we're multitasking, testing a number of things. Chain tensioner is working nicely. Let's see how this thing's doing, boys. So, huh. All right, so I do have one of these things that's on here. Without the nylock nut, it just has a lock washer and it's not a nylock nut. And that one, 
is slowly but surely seems like it's <clears throat> coming off like the lock washer looks like it's slightly undone but so what are we doing here so it still seems like it's hanging in there like <clears throat> like it didn't really it can survive some lateral movement because this chain ring isn't exactly true like as it's spinning like laterally it kind of goes back and forth so this thing can kind of move a little bit i see it doing that the whole time and it seems like it's okay like this big piece of aluminum can just flex like that and that's not a problem i think it's looking good feeling good about this i like this all right. Oh. Oh. So I changed my script so that when it when it does the smooth start, it's doing uh, it's doing set duty instead of set current relative and then when it's freewheeling it's using set current relative but I don't think I'm setting enough I don't know if the duty cycle control I was thinking that maybe by using duty cycle during the smooth start it might be smoother than using set current but I don't know it doesn't seem like I'm... It seems like it's. it needs to ramp up just a little bit more. Because when I... When I'm stopped... Oh! See, it's like it's... When I'm using set duty, it's not... It's not really like doing enough. It's just kind of. I mean, I guess it's kind of engaging the drivetrain without damaging anything. Let's see. I guess that's all right. But then right now it feels a little bit smoother because it's doing set current and not using set duty. I don't know. I hope Benjamin Vetter can help me. Oh. bumpiness there the do-it-yourself hardware store tensioner handled it with ease
Well, it's working pretty good. And so is the chain tension. Let's see. Can you see it down there? Not really. Maybe I should film it with my phone. We'll have to try that. Some kind of a beeping noise. Uh oh. Peace out, buddies. Good ride. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later.